a very very good evening to all of you friends a very very good evening to all of you welcome to byju's exam prep the most comprehensive preparation app for all exams a very good evening to all of you in today's session i shall be discussing with you certain very important legal maxims now i'm going to explain to you first and foremost what are these maxims what is the meaning of maxim why are they used where are they used and the reason behind the usage of these legal maxim or commonly termed as latin maxim because most of these terminologies happen to be latin so i'm going to discuss with you the entire gamut of what is the importance of legal maxim in so far as clat examination is concerned because often we get to hear that in clat examination legal maxim play a important role does it play an important role does it not play an important role because the kind of questions have changed over the years so what do you expect in clat 2025 the kind of questions the importance of legal maxim for your examination for clat 2025 so that's what basically i will be discussing with you guys in the course of this session but before moving to the text or the presentation that i have byju's exam prep brings to you a comprehensive course for clat 2024 in this course we are providing you with 300 plus recorded videos across five sections 300 hours of live classes 35 mock tests for clat and other law entrance examination monthly e magazine for your current affairs and gk and the entire content is prepared based on our extensive analysis of the previous five years of clat question paper so hurry up and register for clat 2024 comprehensive course from byju's exam prep byju's exam prep brings to you this great opportunity where you you can unlock your 3 day free trial access just go to the description box below just add your mobile phone number and get unlimited access only for 3 days that is free and if you want to extend it you have to uh, enroll yourself Ah, uh, moving on. Byju's exam prep also brings to you a scholarship test. Get up to ninety percent scholarship on our preparation program. This scholarship test is going to happen on eleventh of June at eleven a.m. So hurry up and register today to appear for this a uh, scholarship test, wherein you will get a lot of material to study and get up to ninety percent scholarship. So. it's a huge scholarship that byju's exam prep is providing you byju's exam prep brings to you clat 2024 uh, essential what to study and what to skip it's a live interactive workshop which is scheduled on 18th of june at 6 pm this will be conducted by my colleague nivedita so definitely do attend so before i begin with what are latin maxim okay those important latin maxim before that i would want to just give you an understanding of what this legal maxims are now legal maxims are a couple of words might be a form of a sentence which has an underlining principle of law so a principle of law ek chhota char uh, word ka ek uh, maxim hai समझा जाता है ना प्लीज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वेन लॉयर्स एंड जजेस टॉक टू इच अदर वेन लॉयर्स एंड जजेस स्पीक टू इच अदर दे एट टाइम्स यूज सर्टन वर्ड्स एंड फ्रेजेस विच हैज एन अंडरलाइनिंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ लॉ एम्बेडेड एम आई क्लियर टू ऑल तो दैट इज वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ this legal maxim now we come across with a lot of legal maxim okay now how is it important for your clat examination 
now yes to an extent it is important now why do i say that i should if i say something there must be a reason for that now we have seen in the recent past that clat in its passages okay clat in the legal section you will get around eight passages of five questions each so around 40 marks now some of these passages will contain certain phrases now if you are not aware of the meaning of that phrase will it be possible for you to understand the passage aapko agar kuch sentence aapko pata hi nahi hai passage ka kya matlab hai to aapko kya pura passage samjha aap samajh loge nahi it is difficult and henceforth we have to understand certain important legal maxims for our better understanding of those passages to passage aapko padhna hai aapko har ek question attempt karna hai fir so there is where i suggest that certain amount of legal terms knowledge should be given to a student preparing for clat and all am i clear so the first legal maxim let's see actio personnels moresha cum persona what does it mean it means a personal right of action dies with a person now suppose there is a suit between a and b suppose there is a suit between a and b there is a civil case a civil suit between a and b a and b are the two parties am i clear now if a dies now suppose there is a case of civil case okay civil defamation for example example civil defamation okay civil defamation now in civil defamation a has sued b now if a dies suppose a had sued b if a dies the suit falls so personal right of action dies with the person now you do not have to explain everything to the court you can just say this word this particular legal maxim and the judge will understand everything so let's see an illustration in the month of june ayush agrees and signs a contract to perform a dance show at the wedding of aman which is going to take place in the month of july so in the month of june he enters into an agreement to sing to dance to perform whatever you know wedding party which is scheduled the next month that is july ayush is that clear ayush meets meets with an accident in june and could not make it to the wedding in this case aman cannot execute an action against ayush for the breach of contract because this man is no more is that clear now suppose this man with whom the contract was made had died in an accident suppose he is died so if a person dies then this right of action extinguishes am i clear everyone am i clear to all okay moving on actus curiae nevinum gravibit it means an act of a court or an act of a judge cannot prejudice anyone now when a judge is hearing a case he he listens to all argument from every corner so he listens to various arguments various ways or interpretation of a law from all direction and then he comes to a conclusion and then only he comes to a conclusion now if he has heard every one to the best of their time that is provided to them there is an advantage for every one to win the case now an act of a court when a court is pronouncing a judgment it hears everybody and gives a judgment that order that is given cannot 
be to the disadvantage of anybody who has not been hurt. Now, suppose an act of the court, when a court is giving a judgment, that judgment cannot be to the detriment of someone who has not been hurt. Now, a court cannot be used to take advantage of a particular situation, right? So, an act of a court, let's see the ex explanation. If it is applicable when a situation is projected where the court is under an obligation to undo the wrong done to a party by an act of a court. Now, if an order of a court has caused prejudice, the, it is the duty of the high court to make corrections also so that an order of the court cannot be prejudiced to anyone is that clear is that clear everyone am i clear to everyone tell me okay okay fantastic so uh it, guys if you're liking this session do uh share this session with your friends so that others can also join in okay the next one is called Amicus Curie, a friend of the court. Now, now I'll give you an example of Amicus Curie. Now, suppose there are certain new laws, okay, data protection laws. Now, a judge, when he passed law, there was no data protection laws, right? Now, suppose there is a new law, which when, when the judge is hearing the case is, you know, wants to know more of it. So, he can appoint a particular lawyer who understand that subject more and tell him that you you are not appearing for either a or either b you are just assisting the court you are just helping the court to come to the right conclusion that is that person is called amicus curie a friend of a court who can help the judge to come to a particular conclusion. The Delhi High Court has recently appointed senior advocate Rebecca John as a micus in a PIL seeking action against some media houses for revealing the identity of a victim in the Hyderabad rape case. So the Delhi High Court has appointed a senior lawyer who would help the court in the Hyderabad rape case uh, case. Is that clear? So, somebody is appointed by the court as a to help the judge. The next one, actorio, incubate, probatio. Burden of proof is always on the plaintiff. I'll just give you an example. Suppose I go to the court and I tell the judge that, you know, Mr. X has trespassed onto my land. The judge will say, okay, show me the proof. It is not up to the victim, sorry, the defendant to show that he is not guilty. Mene case kiya hai, to I, it is the burden of proof is on me. Burden of proof is on me. Arun and Anjali have been married for three years. However, Arun started harassing Anjali for dowry. And he has kept on abusing and torturing Anjali. Anjali applies for divorce on the basis of cruelty. In this case, Anjali has to prove that Arun has injured him, her physically, mentally. So the person who is going to the court and asking for a particular relief in a civil case has to prove, has to submit proof that the other person has done something wrong. Am I clear? Is that clear? So basically the burden of proof is on the plaintiff. So if you know all these maxims, then you understand a principle of law, right? Actus me in vuto non est mens actus. Now, if an act done by a person against his will is not a vicious act. Now, let me just tell you, an act done by a person against his will is not his act, of course. 
Now Pankaj at gunpoint forces Rohit to assault Varun. Now I place my gun at Mr. A and I tell Mr. A, beat Mr. B. Mr. A is beating Mr. B, but he he is act he is acting right. He is doing his action, but under is he doing it out of his free will? No. Therefore, in law, it is not his act. It is my act because I have forced Mr. A to do something against his will, against Mr. B. Is that clear? Then you have caveat emptor. Caveat emptor is a very important maxim, which means let the buyer beware. Now, suppose you go to a shop. Suppose you go to a shop to buy, uh, you know, a pen or a notebook or a notebook. Now, when you are buying a notebook, you also you are the buyer. You also should know whether the notebook sahi hai, matlab koi kagas kharap to nahi hai. It is your duty also. So that is the law that when you are buying a product, you must be very sure what you are buying. Vivek wants to buy a car from Rishi. In this case, Vivek is responsible for gathering the necessary information to make an informed purchase. Now you go to the market to buy a car. Tata ka gaadi hai, Maruti ka gaadi hai, uh, Mahindra ka gaadi hai, Hyundai ka gaadi hai, Honda ka gaadi hai, Hyundai Honda hai, aur bhi kisare hai. Now you want a, to buy a car which can go to Kashmir, Ladakh. Aur aap agar ye tab soch ke, aap agar Maruti ka alto utha liye, kaise jayenge? Aapko ek tagda gaadi chahiye. ठीक है उधर का रास्ता खराब है ठीक है सो व्हेन यू आर बाइंग समथिंग यू मस्ट बी श्योर यू मस्ट हैव यू मस्ट हैव एन इनफॉर्म परचेस आप अगर सोचने लगे मैं और ऑल्टो लेके मैं पूरा जोजिला पास कुमजुम पास मैं जानसकार मैं सब कुछ घूम के आऊंगा यू आर डूइंग अ परफेक्टेड थिंग सो व्हेन यू आर बाइंग समथिंग इट इज योर ड्यूटी टू have an informed purchase. You must see what is the true value of that vehicle. Can it go to Zanskar? Can it go to Ladakh? Right. The next one. Delegatus non proteste delegare. It means a delegated authority cannot further delegate its power to someone else. Now, I'll give you an example straight away. Now, there are certain laws made by the legislature which says that the Ministry of Home Affairs will pass necessary rules. Now, suppose now tomorrow the Ministry of Home Affairs cannot delegate it to you know Ministry of Labor. No. If a power is given to an individual, either he exercises it. और no one can exercise it. अगर आपके पास मैंने कुछ power दिया है, आपको ही exercise करना है, आप किसी और को वो power delegate नहीं कर सकते. It is a rule of construction that states that a discretion conferred by a statute is prima facie intended to be exercised by that authority on which the statute has conferred. Or no other authority, but this intention may be negated by a contrary uh, indiction found in statute language. Let's not get into that. So, if a authority is given a power to do something, he does it, or he or no one does. He cannot delegate that power to someone else. Ejusdom generis. What do you mean by ejusdom generis? Now, the word ejusdom generis mean of the same kind. Now, now, suppose there is a particular law, there is a particular law in which similar provision is provided. Okay, the let us take two laws. 
and you know the explanation is similar to it so then judges when they are reading the law they must also check similar provisions in other laws okay i'll just give you an example now the word consideration may be used in four laws char kanun mein term consideration ko explain kiya gaya hai indian contract act mein aur thus as a laws mein now when the word consideration comes to the court for an interpretation the judge's duty is to also look at similar provision a statutory and constitutional construction principle of ejusdem generis state that where general words or phrases follow a number of specific words or phrases the general word and specific constructed as limited and apply only to person or things of the same kind or class for example if a law refers to automobiles trucks tractors motorcycle and other motor powered vehicle a court might use ejusdem generis to hold that such vehicles would not include aeroplane because it is included in only land based transport kal koi ye nahi bol sakte sir are or truck motorcycle cars these are all motor generated so aeroplane should also be included in the list no it is different same kind lex fori lex fori means laws of the forum now this is a thing that is used in international law where lex fori refers to the choice of law it specifies that the law of the jurisdiction or venue in which the legal action is filed applies if relevant now suppose an indian company an indian company enters into a contract with a south african company and they say you know in case there is a uh, there's a breach of contract it will be through arbitration and the seat of arbitration is suppose hong kong or singapore singapore it means that the relevant laws of singapore might be applicable the the law of the territory will be applicable the notion of characterized govern the issue of legal disagreement so here we see that the laws of the land will apply to such disputes salus populi suprema lex it means that the law that is made in the legislature is for the betterment of human or for the citizen not for every human but for its citizen now an indian law when it is made it is kept in mind that it is made for the common good of the people at large for the welfare of its people now you see directive principles directive principles of the indian constitution are based on the welfare theory welfare theory of the masses that is what it is the maxim tends to imply the information that laws exist to serve common good this can be achieved only when justice is administered lawfully judicially without fear or favor and without being hampered and throttled uh and this cannot be effectively unless respect it for the foster and maintain so it simply means it simply means that laws are generally made by the people for the people because that is supreme welfare of the people is supreme so guys if you are liking this session do share this session do press on the like button विजिलंट बस नॉन डॉर्मेटी बस चूरा सबसे वेंटा इट मीन्स द लॉ असिस्ट ओनली दो आर विजिलेंट ना सपोज यू आर यू फॉर गेट अबाउट यूर राइट ना सपोज सपोज देर इज अ डिस्प्यूट बिटवीन ए एंड बी देर इज अ डिस्प्यूट 
Now there is a limitation act. Limitation act. Which says that, okay, if your rights are violated, maximum within three years of that, you should come to the court. Now suppose the dispute started in the year 2000. And the man comes to the court in 2015. The court will say, you were sleeping over your rights. I'm not going to do anything. Get lost. You must be vigilant about your rights. And suppose you are sleeping over your rights. Forget it. Don't come to the court. Now, for example, to set aside a sale of execution of a decree. Now, if you are, if you, if, if the other party has got a decree in his favor, and you want to appeal, the time is 60 days from the date of sale. You approach the court after, suppose, 500 days. What were you doing? The court is going to ask. It is not going to entertain your plea. It is not going to entertain your plea because you were not vigilant. You were not vigilant. Am I clear? All of you. Okay, are you guys understanding? Okay, so, so this is how these legal maxims help you. Then you have Pacta Sant Sarvanda. Agreements must be respected, must be treaties. You know, when two or more than two countries enter into an agreement, okay, India, Bhutan and Nepal enters into a water sharing agreement, okay. There are rivers coming from here, there. So they enter into a water sharing agreement. Now, that agreement, it's an international law. It is protected under the international law because there are three countries involved. Those agreements, those covenants must be respected by all the three countries. Now, tomorrow Bhutan cannot say, no, 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 I'm not going to do what I have signed in that contract. No, because they have to respect that agreement. Okay. And then you have impossibilis nulla, obligata est. Now, there cannot be any obligation arising out of an impossible act. Now, let me give you an example. Everybody will understand. Suppose I say, I will give you 1 lakh rupees the day the sun rises from the west. I will give you 1 lakh rupees the sun rises from the west. Can the sun rise from the west? Can the sun rise from the west? Answer is no. So this is a null and void contract. Now, there are, if the thing is impossible, now suppose there is a war, I enter into a contract with someone, somebody in a different country, there, and suddenly there is a war between the two countries, the laws say that you cannot enforce any of your contract, it becomes impossible, can you sue me? No, you cannot. There is no obligation to perform what is impossible. Amit and Bijender enters into a contract where Amit promises to deliver certain specific goods from England to Bijender. The ship carrying the good sank. Are Jahaz, are pani mein chala gaya. Ab kya, ab kya karoge? It has become the contract has become impossible. You cannot sue me. Next, D minimus non curate lex. Now, आप आपको अगर किसी ने एक पेपर बॉल फेंका आप क्या कोर्ट चले जाएंगे नहीं छोटा मोटा देखिए सपोज यू हैव अ हाउस ओके थोड़ा बारिश हुआ थोड़ा किसी का चद्दर आपके घर में आके चला आया आपके बाजू में जो रहता है उसका चद्दर आपके बैल्कनी में आ गया क्या आप इसके लिए कोर्ट चले जाएंगे द आंसर इज नो the court or the law does not take into account certain trifling acts, minor acts. Shyam was traveling via Delhi Metro. At Rajiv Chowk Metro Station, 
while taking exit he stepped over the foot of raju अरे आप भीड़ मेट्रो से निकलते हो किसी के पैर के ऊपर चढ़ जाते हो क्या वो बंदा आपको कोर्ट में लेके जाएगा श्याम विल बी प्रोटेक्टेड बाय वर्च्यू ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर मैगजीन द कोर्ट विल नॉट टेक इन टू कंसिडरेशन की कौन किसी के जूते के ऊपर पैर रख के चला गया इज दैट क्लियर नेक्स्ट कंसेंसस एट आइजन वॉट डू यू मीन बाय कंसेंसस एट आइजन इट्स अ प्रिंसिपल of uh, it's a very important principle in uh, in any idea in contract law it simply means that when two people are entering into a contract they are at the they are their minds are at the same thing in the same sense meeting of minds unless and until you have a meeting of minds there cannot be a contract suppose i say I want to sell my car for ten lakh rupees. You think I am selling my Scorpio, but I am selling my, uh, you know, uh, Maruti Alto. Are we on the same thing in the same sense? No. Let's see an example. Mohan and Sham are two parties willing to enter into a contract. Mohan intends to sell his Alto car for one lakh, whereas Sham took it as Mohan's Audi car. Will the is it a valid contract? No, because I thought it was an Audi car. He was selling his Alto. Is that clear, every one of you? Every one of you, am I clear? Okay. I'm moving on. Ignorantia, facit, excuse it. Ignorance of law is not an excuse, but ignorance of fact is an excuse. if you are not aware of a law no it is not an excuse it is not a defense under the law but if you are unaware of a particular fact it is an excuse i'll give you an example i am a shopkeeper i am a shopkeeper i am selling you know pen pencil rubber sharpener eraser post it markers whatever you call it so i'm selling certain stationary goods in my shop mr a comes enters into a and says i want to buy this pen i said ki okay 10 rupees he says ki uh, sir can you wait for half an hour you know i will do some other shopping while going back i'll just pick this pen up after 10 minutes his identically similar twin brother enters my shop i am under the pretext that you know i have uh, this is the person एग्जैक्टली exactly, दोनों जुड़वा भाई एक दूसरे तरह दिखता है मेरे को कैसे पता कौन क्या है सो आई हैंड ओवर दैट पेन टू मिस्टर बी आई एंटर्ड इनटू अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट विद मिस्टर ए नाउ कैन यू सू मी फॉर अ ब्रीच ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट नो बिकॉज इट्स द इग्नोरेंस ऑफ फैक्ट इग्नोरेंस एज टू आइडेंटिटी ऑफ पार्टीज ओवर हियर वॉट हैपन देर वॉज एन इग्नोरेंस एज टू identity of party i could not understand i could not identify who is a and who is b you right ignorance of fact is an excuse is that clear yatin sees jatin commits uh, what he appears to uh, yatin to be a murder yatin in the exercise to the best of his judgment exert a good faith sees jatin and brings jatin before the proper authority Yatin has committed no offense because he was acting in a mistake of now itna sare ek kisi ka bhai hoga isne socha ki wo murder kiya hai usko leke gaya asli bande ko chhod diya theek hai so it is a mistake of fact it's an excuse lex specialia derogatory lex generally now suppose there is a general law and there is a specific law suppose the general law is law of contract law of contract includes everything under the sky now say, suppose the government makes a law relating to buying and selling of shares is it a contract which law will be applicable if you are buying and selling shares indian contract act or the special law that is made by the parliament for buying and selling of shares tell me एक जनरल लॉ है बट और एक 
एक स्पेसिफिक लॉ बनाया है फॉर ए स्पेसिफिक पर्पस ना आप अगर उसमें आते हो आप ये नहीं बोल सकते कि मेरे को जनरल लॉ में गवर्न करो नहीं एम आई क्लियर हैव आई मेड माई सेल्फ क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड डिड यू ऑल अंडरस्टैंड ओके एवरी वन ओके ग्रेट सो इट्स अ स्पेशल लॉ अ जनरल लॉ इज अ जनरल फॉर एवरी वन स्पेशल लॉ प्रिवेल्स ओवर जनरल लॉ इलास्ट्रेशन ए अ जनरल लॉ से स्पीड मैक्सिम स्पीड लिमिट इज सिक्सटी किलोमीटर्स ऑन ऑल रोड इट इज अ स्पेसिफिक लॉ दैट इस्टेब्लिश अ रिड्यूस स्पीड लिमिट ऑफ ट्वेंटी माइल्स पर आर ट्वेंटी माइल्स पर आर इन स्कूल जोन ड्यूरिंग स्कूल आर्स इफ यू आर गोइंग थ्रू अ स्कूल इन द स्कूल आर्स वॉट शुड बी योर ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर ट्वेंटी माइल्स पर आर नेक्स्ट वन लिस पेंडेंस लिस पेंडेंस मीन्स ड्यूरिंग द पेंडेंसी ऑफ ए लिटिगेशन ड्यूरिंग द पेंडेंसी ऑफ ए लिटिगेशन इट सिंपली मीन्स दैट When a suppose there is a case bit, between A and B, A and B are fighting for a property. Now, when there is a case which is pending in the court and the court has not given a judgment, can A sell his property to C? No. Can B sell his property to D? No. Am I clear? Can B sell his property to D? The answer is no. can a sell his property to c the answer is no list pendants states that when there is a current litigation in so far as the title of rights arising directly from an immovable property is concerned you cannot transfer that property that is restricted transfer of property is restricted am i clear everyone am i clear all of you these are very very important uh, sessions that we are conducting guys because you know you get to understand a lot of things that's very important and uh, then you have ex tipri cosa non oritur actio you know these pronunciations are you know we, we are not we, we don't know latin you know there might be some pronunciation dif difference of course at all time okay now the meaning of it is no action arises out of a wrongful consideration now suppose i tell mr a i will give you 1 lakh rupees provided you kill mr b maine a ko bola main aapko 1 lakh rupya dunga aap b ka murder karo a ne b ka murder kar diya maine usko paisa 1 lakh rupya nahi diya wo kya kal court mein ja ke mere against mein bol sakta hai are jaj sahab unhone bola tha 1 lakh rupya denge isliye maine isko murder kiya hai usko bolo ki paisa de can he go to the court and say that the answer is no sonu and monu have decided to commit a theft in golu's house and equally divided the proceeds of theft after committing the theft sonu did not share the proceeds with monu in the present case sonu cannot go to the court and say that judge sahab chori ke pehle hum there was a contract aadha aadha अभी वो आधा नहीं दे रहे आप बोलिए कि मैंने जितना चोरी किया है उसका आधा मेरे को दीजिए डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट सो हियर वी आर टॉकिंग एंड डीलिंग विथ सर्टेन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लीगल मैगजिन विच कैन कम इन योर पैसेज विच कैन कम इन योर पैसेज एंड यू नो इट बिकम्स वेरी इजी आपको अगर ये सब लीगल मैगजीन पता होगा तो अगर आपको पैसेज के अंदर ऐसे कुछ मिल जाता है यू आर नॉट ब्लैक आउट यू आर नॉट ब्लैक आउट इज दैट क्लियर एवरी वन ओके 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 आई एम सो सॉरी आई थिंक Okay, I'm so sorry. Uh, so, guys, Baiju's exam prep brings to you a CLAT 2024 essential: what to study and what to skip. It's a live interacting workshop that is going to happen on 8th of June. 
up on your screen is the YouTube timetable, which I'm sure that you guys are aware of. Okay. Baiju's exam prep brings to you a comprehensive course for CLAT 2024. Now, guys, if you have any doubts, uh, do let me know your doubts so that I can answer those doubts right now itself. If you guys have any doubts, any doubts, any doubts, uh, you have any doubts, you can tell me. Okay. Okay. In case you guys have any doubts. Okay. Uh, Baiju's exam prep also brings to you uh, unlock your three day free trial access. Uh, just you need to go to the link in the description box and uh, click there to get final access. Uh, so guys, if you guys have any doubt, uh, let me know your doubt so that I can help you with that. Uh, do not forget to uh, follow our Instagram, our Facebook page, our Twitter handle, everything. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Niketa, Suhani. Yeah, thank you. Uh, any, any doubts if you guys have, then let me know. Okay. I don't think there are much doubts right now. Okay. So even if you have, you can just let me know in the comment section below. Uh, with this, we come to the end of today's session. Thank you very, very much. God bless you. Stay home, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye-bye. Good night. Take care. Okay. Bye. I'm signing off. Bye-bye.